Salut tout le monde, salut à tous, coucou. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenue à ma chaîne. I am Patricia Jean-Pierre, Patricia Jean-Pierre. Je suis Patricia Jean-Pierre. And this channel is about the journey of learning French. So if that is something that you're interested in, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, guys, so I'm so excited to do this video. The reason why is because I am focused, I am ready, and I am going to be committed to learning French and not dropping the ball, like I mentioned in my previous video, somewhere in here. So I'm really excited to do a, a video on this. Uh, it's a review on flashcards. And I wanted to give you a little bit of information before I do a review on Cuckoo. These are a, a stack of flashcards that I recently got for free, okay, yeah! um, from cuckoofrenchclasses.com. They are also an organization located in New York City as well as LA. And I don't know if you guys can see, can you see this? I hope so. Anyway, so it comes with 322 colorful little cards. Um, Let's open up this box real quick. Take a look at it. Ah, okay. And it's got different categories of building your vocabulary, basically. Um, I pulled out a few of them a little earlier before I started this video because, of course, I wanted to focus on what I have in front of me. When you open up your package, when you open up your box, if you consider purchasing this, it has a little information card that says more than flashcards, French vocab pack one. And okay, it's basically a user guide. It's on the French side of the card, you'll find the word, its pronunciation, part of the speech, basically feminine or masculine, the verb and the, and, and the adjective concerning that, the theme of the card, such as if it's food related, sports related, um, doing, those types of things. Um, and it comes with two examples on the back of the card, as well as extra space in case you're interested in writing information for yourself. They recommend you coming up with your own sentences. That is a brilliant idea um, of adding that. For example, what is your morning routine? I mentioned that in a previous video um, so that you can have a way to help memorize and learn your, your vocabulary. So I do appreciate this little booklet. I did keep it with me in my little um, box because I wanted to make sure I don't lose it in case I forget an uh, important part of the, the uh, cards. So I pulled out this card. What you'll see on the front of it are uh, a picture. It's drawn, of course, and it's really cute. I love the colors. They're all different colors. Um, it'll say, it doesn't say what it is. So, and I'm just to pause real quickly, I'll say this. I, I believe, I haven't started taking courses with them just yet. That is something that I plan on doing this year in 2023. But I believe this is supposed to accompany some workbooks. The company Cuckoo, uh, Cuckoo French Classes do, do offer um, other things within their store and a cute tote bag too that I plan on getting. Uh, and it does also have some workbooks that you can work with and I believe it's supposed to add as, as uh, a complete package to the to the classes but since that I've already pretty much started learning French on my own this was my opportunity just to build my vocabulary but I do believe it kind of go hand in hand anyway moving on so this obviously tells you from looking at it it's a loaf of bread you may not know what the name of that is and if you don't you can go ahead and flip it over it does have a little cheat here in that it says, if you flip it, it says bread. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can y'all see that? So it says what it is, it's bread. So there may be something in here, maybe a card that you don't tech, you, you may not recognize what the uh, creature is, like this is a horse, but if you don't know it's a horse, you may need to flip it upside down and look and see that it says horse. So. That's why they have it there. Possibly also because maybe English isn't your first language, um, you may need to see it there. I don't know. It makes it made sense in my head, but trying to explain it, it doesn't make sense. So we're just gonna move forward. Anyway, so <laughs> when you flip the card over, you'll see that it has le pain. That's what 
the word is for this. They want you to be able to identify what this is on the card, the, the picture, identify it in French. If you don't know what it is, which that's what flashcards are, that's the purpose of flashcards, you can flip it over and see that the word here says le pont. So it also includes the pronunciation. They break it down on how you should enunciate that. So it says le pont, right there. All right, anyway, I'm sorry I keep putting it in front of your faces. I just wanna make sure that you guys fully understand how the structure and the setup is. On the right hand side, you'll see that it is non masculin, which means that this is masculine. Um, and then they identify where le pain, where does it belong? It belong in la cuisine because that's basically food. That's cuisine, food, it's almost like cuisine. English has borrowed that from French cuisine, cuisine. Okay, then it comes with two sentences. It says here, j'étais une baguette de pain à la boulangerie. Also, le chibata, which is Italian, but le chibata est un pain italien. I don't know if my uh, pronunciation on the sentence was correct. It sounds real robotic, but I'm learning. Y'all are too, okay? So, j'achète um, j'achète une baguette de pain à la boulangerie. Le chibata est, est, un, est un pain italien. I hope I said that right. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm sure that this is something you practice with your teacher with. Okay, and then it has those sentences here. So, my review, I wanted to just give you guys a little more information about this first before I go into the review. Actually, we're gonna pause because one thing I will say that it also includes besides just the um, nouns that you're reading here and the adjectives and the verbs and all that kind of stuff, it comes with um, these orange cards that are, that are strategically placed within the, um, that are grouped within the groups, I guess, um, that have verbs. So basically this has, I pulled them out of course, so that it's easy for me to access it, um, the word to eat. And I eat, you eat, she, he, eat, they eat, we eat. Okay, je mange, tu manges, il et l'on mange, nous mangeons, vous mangez, il et mange. So, I love that. I love that and I guess I'll say that's part of my review here is that it does include that. And similar to the actual nouns, it breaks it down here. Once you flip it over, that says, je mange, uh, quand je faim, je mange. Which means, when I'm hungry, I eat. Um, manger en moi, sans fruits et légumes par jour est bon, et bon pour la santé. Which basically say, to eat more fruit, less, uh, I don't know. We are worth it. <laughs> I knew how to translate that and I doubt. Uh, um, so anyway, so basically it has it on the back here. And then of course you create your sentences and then you write it here for memory practice. All of that. And I love that. Je mange, je dîne. Um, I uh, don't know that one. Je déjeune. Um, je déjeune, basically. J'aime, aimer. So the, the, the um, you'll have the infinitive on the other side, the back side of this. Détester, which would be je déteste, tu détestes, il, elle déteste, nous détestons, vous détestez, il, elle déteste. I hope I pronounced that correct. I don't know. So that is something I do like about these cards. I enjoy the fact that they're small because typically flashcards are kind of large, kind of a little bigger, can be obnoxious if you're trying to carry these, carry them around. But these you can carry around and I do like that. Um, because there's so many of them, it's 320 as I've mentioned, I would say, you know, be mindful of trying to carry an entire box. So it may not be necessarily the uh, most efficient uh, flashcards to carry as far as the box is concerned. But if you are carrying a small stack with you because you happen to be on a commute, on a train, please don't do it while you're driving, unless you're sitting in traffic, then these would be perfect to carry with you. I did uh, travel to Fort Lauderdale 
um, for the holidays and had them at had them with me at the airport and it was very convenient I do like that I appreciate the size of them I appreciate the colorfulness I do um, like the colors and the brightness every like I said all of these are in orange which is perfect that's what we need so you know that when you hit an orange card you are hitting the verb section which is great um, what else I wrote it down so that I wouldn't wouldn't forget what else I wanted to talk about um, I would say what I'm not so much a fan of is the fact that the sentences that are the two sentences on each card are not translated but I guess that's a way to get your brain thinking right eliminate some laziness but it also again as I've mentioned could be because it's supposed to be accompanying your language learning plan accompanying a workbook um, your tutor whoever you've hired that you're working with um, to help you translate and think more but if you're feeling lazy like I am not, not very helpful not to be able to have the translation but that's neither here nor there you know if you don't want your brain working overtime then it, it might be a minus um, these cards do retail for $55 that is something I'm not too much of a fan of especially compared to flashcards that you can find online um, on like Amazon or something they're a lot cheaper but I can't speak to the quality of those cards um, I did get these for free and that's because I participated in the uh, season three premiere of Emily in Paris New York City specifically little Paris NYC had a little section where there were different activities and different things that you can basically walk around and enjoy and get like free chocolat, chocolat chaud and everything. So because of that, we had to get stamps and whatnot. It was, it was free for me and I was fighting for it. Trust me, I was not going to walk away from getting a $55 value bunch of flashcards that I wanted to add to my arsenal. Um, honestly, those would be my two things that I, I really, um, wasn't a fan of if I was a person that you know was on a budget and I am um, so that would have been a concern for me I will also say that I noticed that with these cards sometimes it's like um, you get the definite article and then you get uh, I don't even know English Lord have mercy the definite article of like the um, and then sometimes you'll get a so what I mean by that is uh, let me find a word that I can pronounce. Okay. Dauphin. Okay. Un dauphin. This is a dolphin, of course. On the back, it says un dauphin. So it's masculine. But if I were to pick up another card, it would say, let's just pretend it's another card. With dolphin again, it will say le dauphin. It doesn't, it's not, I don't see the consistency concerning why sometimes it's un and then sometimes it's le. You know what I mean? So there's probably a logic behind it, I'm sure. I just don't know what that is because I haven't started taking classes with Cuckoo, uh, French classes just yet. Um, so I'm really interested in finding out what that is about. Maybe they're doing that to um, help jog the brain, like un, me is masculine, le, masculine, une, uh, feminine, uh, feminine, excuse me, and uh, la, feminine. Perhaps they, they scatter it strategically for a reason to keep the brain from getting too relaxed and comfortable, but but being able to understand that, keep it flavorful, I'm assuming. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in learning more information, uh, the link is below in the description box. Feel free to leave a comment, let me know what kind of flashcards, if you have any, um, how those work out for you. Maybe there are some strategies on learning and studying that I could use with my flashcards. I'm so excited. I've already started uh, practicing with them, but definitely want to take it uh, a little bit further, do more of a deep dive with them, especially if it's going to improve my vocabulary so that I have um, the opportunity to not get stuck when I'm trying to explain something in, in French, of course. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Abonnez-vous. All right, thanks so much and bye. Salut.